Hi, my name is Mike Wiseman, and I couldn't be more excited to share with you today a brokerage model that has absolutely changed my life and I believe may have the power to change yours as well. Of course, I'm speaking about eXp Realty. eXp Realty was founded in 2009 by real estate agent, team leader, and visionary Glenn Sanford. Glenn envisioned a brokerage model that would align itself completely with the interests of the agents, a model that not only could the agents achieve their ultimate success in real estate, but that they could have ownership in and revenue share and allow them to build a business and a life that simply was not possible with any brokerage model up until that time. And thus eXp Realty, the first cloud-based agent-owned brokerage model was born. Since then, eXp Realty has grown into a global brand operating in 24 countries and has established itself as the fastest growing and most successful independent brokerage in the history of real estate. So before I begin, let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I was licensed in real estate in 2019 and I joined Keller Williams. You know, I went to Keller Williams because I loved the training and the knowledge that they gave there and I really enjoyed my time there and was not disappointed at all. In my first year, I focused on expired listings, uh, listing 21 properties in year one, making thousands of phone calls, like many of you have, may have done as well. In year two, we doubled that to 40. And then towards the end of my second year, I wanted to build a team. And I started exploring some other opportunities just to see what was out there. And when I saw the eXp brokerage platform, my entrepreneurial spirit just couldn't unsee it. What I saw was an opportunity to be an actual owner in the brokerage I was helping to build. I saw the opportunity to have revenue share. I saw a technology platform that I could bring to life my vision of what my team should look like and the opportunity to collaborate openly with agents all over the United States without borders. And shortly thereafter, I made the move over to eXp Realty and have not looked back since. And in fact, it was like releasing the parking brake. I went from 40 transactions in that second year to doubling that to 80. We set up our systems and I partnered and collaborated with agents all over the country. And today, as I record this video, I am very honored and blessed to say that I've achieved the Icon Award three years in a row. I'll explain to you more what that means as we get into the presentation. In 2023, I was again honored and blessed to receive the eXp Realty Icon Agent of the Year, and I am now also a member of the eXp National Agent Advisory Council. So I think it's very fair to say that eXp Realty has absolutely changed my life. I know its power, and I know it may have the power to do the same for you. So all I ask you is for the next 30 minutes, please keep an open mind and stay in curiosity as together we explore the eXp brokerage model. All right, so let's pull up our digital whiteboard and I'm gonna explain this to you in a way that was taught to me by one of our great leaders and visionaries here at eXp Realty, Gene Frederick. And Gene said that you need to make it so simple and break it down so clearly that you could explain it on the back of a napkin. So Gene, if you're watching this, this is my version of your famous napkin presentation. Let's start by getting a deeper understanding of the model of real estate and how real estate has been practiced really for close to 100 years, which is why I call it the old fashioned model of real estate. Now, even though it's old fashioned, this model is still very much in practice today. In fact, many of you watching may actually be part of this model. So the old fashioned model always starts with an international division right at the top. Now I came out of the Keller Williams world. And so for me, this is Keller Williams International owned by Gary Keller. For you, this may be Anywhere, which is the corporate entity that owns multiple franchises like Coldwell Banker, Century 21, among others. It could be the Remax corporate model, but it always starts with an international division. Now what happens next? The international division, they break the country up into regions. So for example, you may have the Northeast region. You may have a New England region. One of my business partners here at eXp, he owned Northern California and Hawaii as regions. And what the regional owners do, well, one, they invest quite a bit of money to become a regional owner. And today, even if you could buy one, it would be well over a million dollars. I don't know what the price would be, but certainly over a million dollars to purchase the rights to a region. But when you have the rights to a region, what you do is you go out and you recruit and you sell to broker owners. Now, broker owners, they are the ones that invest a good amount of money 
it's typically a quarter million dollars or more to open up a branch and they're gonna sign the leases. They're gonna get the office equipment. They're gonna open up all the bank accounts, put together all the systems, everything that needs to run a local brokerage operation in any particular market. In the Keller Williams lingo, this is called the market center. And there are many of them within any given region, typically. Now the broker owners, well, what do they do? Well, they have to go out and they have to hire staff to run the brokerage. And very often they hire with someone called a team leader. A team leader's job obviously is to go out and to go find who? Well, who's missing off of this model? One more piece of the puzzle here to fill in. Yep, it's us, the agents. Now let's think about this for a second. This is the way real estate has been done for almost a hundred years. It goes back to 1906 with Caldwell Banker. Century 21 really perfected this model in the 1970s to the extent that if you saw someone in an old movie, in a Clint Eastwood movie, walk past in a gold jacket, you knew that person was a real estate agent. In the 90s, Keller Williams also takes this model and expands upon it. But let's think about this model for a second. And particularly, let's think about the flow of money in this model. So who gets paid first in this model? Well, typically right here, 6% is gonna go right to the top and that's gonna pay international and the regional owners. They get paid first, they always get paid first. Next, clearly, the broker owner. Now, when I worked the Keller Williams, that was 30%. Some of you could be on different splits, lower or higher, but the broker owner will take their cut and that in turn will help them cover all their operating expenses, right? And of course, pay for their staff. And the agents down here will get what's left. But think about this for a second. Where is all the money being generated? Clearly down here with the agents. If the agents don't sell and have closings and generate commission income, nothing happens. Now this franchise model is how business has been done, not just in real estate, but think about it. This could be a KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, we could certainly swap that out. And this model with its kind of pyramid structure is the way that almost every corporation in the franchise world is structured. So it doesn't have to just be real estate, but there's one very, very important difference I like to really point out. And think about this. All the income needs to be generated where in this model with the agents going out and actually selling their clients, finding clients, generating revenue, generating business. That's not the way it is at a KFC, is it? If you go into a Kentucky Fried Chicken, okay, you don't have to take go out there and sell uh, the product. You bring your money to the local, uh, local franchise. You bring your money to the local restaurant and you buy the product. You see, this is very, very different. Here, nothing happens unless we go out and sell. So they took the model of a consumer-driven corporation, a consumer-driven franchise where the money flows in to the bottom and flows up, and they changed it. Now the money has to start with us and then flow out upwards. See if that's different. It's very different, and it's the way real estate's been done for 100 years. So in 2009, along comes our founder, Glenn Sanford, out of this model, and he comes up with something we're gonna call the new model of real estate. And what Glenn was really after in 2009, he was a top producing agent, over 100 transactions, um, expanding in multiple markets. What he wanted was a different model where he could really align the interests of the agent with the brokerage in a way that simply was not possible here. And his vision was first off to have agent owners. He wanted an agent owned operation. Now, how do you accomplish that? How do you get to have an agent owned operation? and we're not gonna do regions, we're not gonna do broker owners, we're gonna have staff, we're not gonna have team leaders. So how are we going to make this work? Well, we need several things to be in place for this model to function. First thing that we needed, that Glenn had to put together, was a cloud office. We are going to connect staff, over 2,500 staff as we sit here today with almost 89,000 agents and they're all gonna operate in the cloud office. One platform, we all can collaborate, we all can communicate, we can send referrals back and forth with the click of a button. Okay, the staff can be there to support the agents. We can have 60 to 80 hours a week of live training done all in the cloud office. The cloud office is doing to the real estate industry what Netflix did to blockbusters.
Remember Blockbuster's video? Used to walk in. There was a Betamax and a VHS section. I had Beta. It was better quality. VHS had more tapes. Now they're all gone, right? Blockbuster could have bought Netflix for what, $30 million? Now it's worth how many billions of dollars? And Blockbuster is gone. It's also the same thing that happened to JCPenney and Sears. What happened? Amazon put them out of business. The cloud office, the efficiency, this is hundreds of millions of dollars of savings. It's layers and layers of infrastructure that doesn't need to be there, layers of management, duplication of services. It's an incredible efficiency to run profitably in the cloud office. Now next, there's two very important things that were very important to Glenn and very important to this model. How do you make 89,000 agents all owners and true partners in the business? Well, corporate stock, EXPI, traded on the NASDAQ as we speak today. Uh, we're part of the S&P 600, the S&P small cap index. So EXPI allows us to all be owners and every agent from their very first sale, we're gonna give them stock, they're gonna become owners and true partners with all the other agents. And as we sit here today, this is so important. This is so, so important. As we sit here today uh, in 2024, 67% of all the outstanding shares, and I can change a little bit here and there, of course, but almost 70% of all the outstanding shares are owned by the agents, the staff, and the leadership that no other brokerage on the planet can make that claim. And that's what's very different about being an agent owner. Now, after agent owner, there's one more thing that was really important to Glenn to bring this model to life and give it a future that would last for generations. And that's what we call revenue share. Revenue share is where the true partnership comes in. Let's think about this for a second. Now, Glenn came out of a model where there was a similar concept, which was called profit share. Some of you are probably familiar with it. It's the Keller Williams model where they share 50% of their profits based on a formula that's relatively complex based on the amount of agents you bring in and the revenue you bring in that filters down to the ultimate profit that generates. But let's say you and I were going into business together and I say, I got a great idea for you. Let's go into business together. We'll be 50-50 partners. You say, Mike, that sounds like a great idea. Let's be partners. And I say, yeah, we'll split 50% of the profits. You say, great, that sounds perfect. How's it gonna work? Well, you be the agent. You go out in the field, you work with the buyers, you work with the sellers, you find the business, you bring the deals, you close the deals, and I'll take care of all the operations. I'll run the operations, the compliance, I'll give you the support, everything in the back end of it, and we'll be partners in the business and it will work great. You say, Mike, that sounds fantastic. It'll be 50-50 partners. I say, absolutely, we'll split whatever the profits are in half. But there's just one thing. I'm gonna take care of all the books. I'm gonna run the profit and loss statement. I'm gonna decide what expenses we cut, what expenses we increase. I'm gonna sign the leases. I'll negotiate with the vendors and I'll kind of decide what goes above the line or below the line. And at the end, I'll apply kind of a formula to it and we'll split half the profits that are left. How's that sound? You can be like, wait a second. That sounds like you have a lot of control and I don't. It doesn't exactly sound like a partnership. And you'd be right. Now, is it better than nothing? Sure, but Glenn didn't want that. Glenn wanted revenue share. So how is revenue share different? Well, revenue share is a true 50-50 partnership. See, we're gonna split top line revenue. Half the money that comes in the front door from a commission, from a sale, $10,000 comes in, $5,000 is gonna go right back to you, the agent, and $5,000 will stay with me here at the brokerage. And with that money, I'll support you. I'll give you all the services that you need, and I'll run to the degree that I can run profitably. I'll worry about that. You take your half, your $5,000 of revenue, and you apply it to your business, and you run your own P&L. That sounds fair, right? You say, absolutely, that's a true partnership. Well, that's what we have here on this EXP model, and I'll show you a little more detail on that in just a couple of minutes. Okay, agent ownership. Let's turn the page and talk about agent ownership because we truly are the only truly agent-owned brokerage on the planet. And let's see what that means and how this works. So here at eXp, you are going to get ownership in five different ways, and it's gonna start with your very first sale. So the very first sale you get, and this is gonna happen every single year on your anniversary. Think of it as an anniversary present, your first closing of the year, of your anniversary year. You are gonna receive 
and EXPI, our publicly traded stock on the NASDAQ. That's a gift to you for congratulating you on your first closing of your anniversary year. That's really cool. Now, the second way you're going to earn stock is when you cap. Now, yes, we're a capping model. Now, some of you watching this uh, broadcast may also be in a capping model. Some of you may not be. So let me explain it very, very quickly on what a capping model is. Capping model means that the basic split for EXP is 80-20. 80 percent to the agent, 20 percent to EXP. But that 20 percent, once you have paid in a total of $16,000, that 20 percent has paid in to $16,000, you go to 100% and you no longer pay the 20% split. Another way to look at that, in most markets, that's about $3 million in volume. It's also about 80,000 or exactly 80,000 in gross commission income. So depending how you wanna think of it, that's how a cap works. 80, 20, $16,000 is the most you'll ever pay to this company, which is pretty incredible. Think about where you are right now and compare it to that, but it's gonna get better. So when you hit your cap, you're gonna get a thank you. Is that okay with you? $400, and that's gonna happen every single year that you hit your cap as a thank you for, for hitting, that, hitting that cap. Now you've gotta accept it. You get an email that says, you have a stock award, please click here to accept. So one of the first things you do here, by the way, when you join is you open up an E-Trade account to receive the shares of EXPI as you receive it. So that's for capping. The third way that you're gonna earn stock in this company or be given stock in this company is, is introduce an agent. We call it sponsoring. Just introduce an agent who names you as their sponsor, as the person who introduced them to the company. And when they close their first sale, you are going to be paid a $400 gift in EXPI stock. So go out, introduce five agents and earn $2,000 of stock. It's there for the taking. And there's no limit on that, no limits. Now I'm gonna put a line here because these are grants, these are awards, and these do have a three-year hold, which is really, really very brilliant if you think about it. So it's actually kind of a forced savings account, if you will. This money goes in your account. You can watch it grow, you can watch it increase in, in share price and you can't sell it for three years. So it's kind of a forced savings. And yes, you have to be here in three years still with the company to, to claim it, but it's gonna to come to you every single year. But you're building wealth. You're building something for your future that you don't have right now. So those are the first three ways you're gonna receive stock and become an owner of this company. The fourth way is it's optional, but you are allowed to take 5% of your commission Every time you close and you can purchase stock at a 5% discount to the market. So it's your choice. Every time you close a transaction, you can take 5% of your commission check and EXP will purchase the stock at a 5% discount. So where is it? Where's the other 5% coming from? So you're in effect, you're paying 95% and EXP is paying 5%. Okay, they are giving that to you. It's a match. Think of it like, it's kind of like a corporate 401k, but this is not in a 401k. You can sell this right after you get it. You can literally turn around on that money and make 5% in a day if you choose to. I've kept it and I've used this to build my wealth and build my portfolio, but that's your choice. Now, the fifth way, this is going to be really, really exciting for some of you. So this is the part you really want to pay attention to, is called our ICON program. I've been very, very blessed to become an icon agent in three years of being here at EXP, three years in a row. So for some of you, this is gonna be a game changer, I promise you. So if you remember what our cap was, it's the $16,000, which is the most you're gonna pay into the company on that 80-20 split. So once you've paid in that full $16,000, that's it, there's no more split for the rest of your anniversary year. You're at 100%, 100%, no more split. Now the company still has to stay in business and stay profitable and run the operation. So there's going to be a flat fee of $250 applied. It doesn't matter the size of the transaction. It could be a $100,000 home, it could be a $3 million home. $3 million home, whatever that commission works out to, $250 is all the, all the um, 
you're going to pay back to the company. But that's going to happen only for 20 more times. See, because once you've done 20 more transactions with the $250 cap fee, you will have paid in $5,000 in what we call cap fees. Now, those cap fees at $5,000, here's what's going to happen next. Okay, One, this fee of $250 is going to go down to $75 for the rest of your year, a nominal charge. But something even bigger is going to happen. You are going to receive back your full $16,000 in cap. You're going to get it all back to you in the form of EXPI stock effectively putting you at 100%. At this point in time, you're only out of pocket to the company as far as cap fees is $5,000. However, think about this for a second. You also, at this point, you've made your first sale, so you got your $200 in stock. You've also capped, you've got your $400. You've also maybe sponsored an agent or two. You've got some money there. If you've been taking advantage of this, you've been getting a 5% bump every time you make a, you buy some stock with one of those commission checks, then you are probably close to 100% at this point. Some of you, like myself, are over 100%, as incredible as that sounds. Now this Icon Award is paid to you as stock, as EXPI stock, half of which can be sold as you receive it in year one. The other half is on the same three-year hold as the other shares. But this is a game-changing, life-changing equation that in my short time being here in just over three years has built up to nearly a six-figure stock portfolio. Now, before we turn the page and go to the next slide and talk about revenue share, I just want to ask you, how much ownership do you have in the brokerage you're working for right now? How much equity, how much actual stock, NASDAQ traded stock that you can actually sell on the exchange in your E-Trade or Morgan Stanley account, how much of it are you getting? And think about this, as I said on the first slide, nearly 70% of all the outstanding shares are owned by the agents, the staff, and the leadership of this company. And that's a game changer. Now let's turn the page and let me tell you about revenue share which is my absolute favorite. Remember in 2009, Revenue Share was the third piece of that puzzle that Glenn needed to create his vision of the brokerage of the future of this new model and to really align the interests of the agent with the brokerage and make it a true 50-50 partnership. So Revenue Share, it comes from the fact that we run so efficiently, we can bake it into our model that 50% of the dollar that comes into the door 50% of the money that comes into this business can go back out to the agents. Let me show you how this works. If you recall from my earlier slide, 80%, 20%. That's our split. 80% to the agent, 20% to EXP. Remember that 20% can never exceed $16,000. That's our cap. But that 20% is actually split as soon as it walks in the door. So 20% of the 20%, 10% goes to EXP that runs the brokerage, keeps the lights on, and generates a profit. The other 10% goes back to the agent, people like you and me, people that have helped grow this brokerage simply by introducing their friends who have joined, and you're gonna share in the revenue of their production, fully half of it. So remember, it's a half of the split. That 20% is gonna get divided in half. 10% goes to EXP, and 10% is gonna come back to us, the agent. So let's look at how this works. Let's put in some actual numbers to it. Remember, the cap here is $16,000. And that means $8,000 is going to EXP, and $8,000 is not going to EXP. It's staying here with the agents. This becomes the revenue share pool, this $8,000 for this one agent. And collectively, of all the agents that come in, that 10% is collectively called the revenue share pool. And it's going to get divided and given out in the following formula. Revenue share always starts with you. Here you are, the agent just joining EXP. Now you're going to introduce a friend or maybe two. That friend or maybe two, when you introduce them, that's called your first level agent. You've made an introduction. They've joined EXP. So from their revenue share pool, from their 10%, remember, that's this piece right here, you are going to receive the first year in production 
It's unbelievable, but you're going to receive 50% of the rev share pool. That's 50% of up to $8,000 because that's their maximum cap. If they're capping agents, that means a two capping agents or one capping agent is going to pay you $4,000. Two capping agents, like I have drawn here, is going to give you $8,000 in that first year. Now, going forward after that, you're going to earn, as long as they're in production and staying with the XP, you will earn 17.5% of the rev share pool going forward from year two onward. But those agents that you sponsored or introduced, well, they're going to make introductions themselves. And they may introduce a couple of agents. So you'll have some agents down here. And this is your, your second level agents. Now, your second level agents, you will also going to earn a percentage of their rev share pool. Remember, that $8,000 for a capping agent, that's the rev share pool. And you are going to earn, of those, you'll earn 20% of that rev share pool. So literally, that's up to $1,600 for each of those agents. Every year that they stay in business, year in and year out, whether or not you sell a house, it doesn't matter how many agents you have personally sponsored. See, that's what's changed from previous years. In previous years, you had to go ahead and sponsor other agents. You had to sponsor five agents, actually, to open up your second level, and then 10, your third level. No more. You were going to get paid on three full levels from day one. That's as far as we'll look today. But let's say these agents, they go out, and they sponsor a couple of agents. And this is exactly what happens. Okay, agents introduce agents. This is just making an introduction. This is not being a recruiter. Okay, this guy up here with only two agents is not a recruiter. He's just making introductions. I'm just making introductions. You're making introductions, and they're going to join a name you as a sponsor. So down here, you will earn 12.5% on level three, 12.5% on level three, of that same $8,000 rev share pool of that same 8,000. So that's literally $1,000 for each of these agents on level three, all the way across. So in this model here with one, two, three, four, five, six on level three, the way I've drawn it, you'd have another $6,000 on level three. So that's our third level. Let's just put that in there so it's clear. Now let's just pause one second and think about this. Revenue share for most of you watching this video, if not all of you, is something that's not even available to you at your current brokerage that you're working with. And even those of you that might be at a model that has a profit share, specifically I'm thinking of, of the Keller Williams model, it is not like this. There is no way. When I have run comparisons, and I've done it with many Keller Williams agents that are pretty active in the profit share model, um, it typically is 10 times or more the value 10 times or more the income for the same number of agents. And honestly, with profit share, especially with the market right now, many market centers just simply aren't profitable. Profit share is also limited to one market center and its profits and its agents. This, my friends, is a global model. So for my team leaders out there, think about this. This is an entirely new way that you can build and structure your real estate teams as I have done. And I've now expanded outwards of seven states and we're adding new ones every single month. I now have partners all over the United States, soon to be all over the world. We're in 24 countries. You can sponsor an agent in any of those countries, any of the 50 states, Canada, Mexico, 24 countries in total. You can earn this revenue share. So build your family tree. And think about this, the family tree is gonna grow. It's gonna grow sometimes with or without you, right? I have six kids, five of them are in real estate, okay? I have grandkids now. One day, God willing, those grandkids grow up, they have kids and grandkids. Family trees grow, so do revenue share trees grow. And because of this model that it rewards back to us and literally pays us a referral fee, think of it like that. It's a referral fee paid back to us from our uh, familial descendants in the rev share tree. We're getting paid back a referral from that rev share pool. We don't have to sell real estate to earn this money. So what happens if you're laid up for three months a year, six months in a year? There's so many agents that speak from stage at EXP events that literally revenue share kept them going when they couldn't be out selling. And for those of you looking to get off the transaction treadmill one day, this is a way to generate consistent, predictable income every single month 
whether or not you're selling a home, and it can take you into retirement. This is truly an exit plan for many of you watching this video right now. You do not have to be selling real estate to receive this. In fact, every agent in the RevShare program names two successors. And if God forbid if something would happen to me, if I would get hit by a truck <laughs> tomorrow, this RevShare would pass on to my named beneficiaries, my wife or my child. They would continue to receive this rev share and they would name two beneficiaries and that's baked into our model it is in our independent contractor agreement that the rev share passes along to our beneficiaries i know we've covered a lot in the last 30 minutes so i encourage you go back and watch this again take some notes and then reach out with questions reach out to me or whomever it was that shared this video with you and take a deeper dive into this model there is so much more to look at that we didn't have the time to go over things like agent health care we have 24 7 support both for agent services and technical support live support with a real person uh, over 20,000 requests last month an average wait time of 42 seconds to speak to a live person it's unbelievable We've got next level technology as far as managing your transactions. We use SkySlope for that. Uh, we've got a KV Core full blown platform, CRM system, agent website for your branding that personally saved me over a thousand dollars a month when I made this move over away from my previous CRM onto this platform. And there was still more to unpack and take a look at. So please have an open mind, take a look, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye bye.